guys, Freddy Tech back with another video from CFL Tech. We have the Streaming Better site pulled up here, and we'll link this media news story down below if you want to check it out. Now we have Amazon Prime Video to offer FanDuel Sports Network add-ons. So this is something new here. Now FanDuel Sports was formerly Bally Sports, so we have the new name here. You can get this service, you know, as a standalone app and subscribe to get your regional sports networks that way. But now you can get it through the Prime Video service as an add-on so you have more convenience. Now it's saying here FanDuel Sports Network RSNs, formerly Bally Sports RSNs, are set to become available as Prime Video add-ons after Diamond Sports Group agreed to a multi-year deal with Prime Video. Now, we heard about this happening possibly with Bally Sports several months back, but of course they had the bankruptcy and all that, so it did slow things down. We heard about Amazon getting involved with potentially offering the Diamond or Bally Sports uh, networks on their system, and now it looks like it will be happening, but it's under the FanDuel Sports name now. Now, they have 16 regional sports networks that will be accessible to Prime Video members, living within a team's designated geographic area. So that is why it's regional sports networks. Those that do not opt, to, opt in to sign up for their local add-on will not only be able to watch live games directly through Prime Video, but also pre- and post-game programming as well. So that is pretty cool. Now, they are happy to partner with Prime Video, that is Diamonds Media Group. They're saying here, uh, partnering with Prime Video, one of the largest streaming destinations in the U.S. and making FanDuel Sports Network available as part of their add-on subscriptions creates a tremendous opportunity for us to expand our reach and better connect with viewers. That's just a part of what they have to say there. So, you know, with all of the troubles Diamond Sports has had, now that it looks like they're emerging well, you know, with the bankruptcy that they had and all that, and now they're on a very large platform. So this could be a very good thing for them with more exposure so we'll see how this goes for them. Now, right now, there's no details on pricing, but it will probably be the same cost as if you went with the standalone subscription. So no real savings will probably be there, but you never know. They may offer an introductory rate to get you in. But right now, it's more of a convenience thing to have it all on Prime Video, and it can get billed that way through Prime Video as well. So you don't have to worry about you know, all multiple bills outside of Prime. And Roku does something similar as well. You can subscribe to different add-ons and pay through Roku and using your account information there. So you're going to see more and more of this centralized billing and convenience thing. And you have it right here now with this new um, agreement between Bally Sports. Oh, we're not calling it Bally anymore. It is now called FanDuel Sports. There you go. So FanDuel Sports. Now you have this agreement going with uh, Prime Video. So it's good to see that we're seeing these relationships happen. And it can make things more, you know, more convenient for the user customer. So what are your thoughts on this? Are you subscribing to FanDuel, you know, to get your NHL, to get your MLB? Put your comments down below. Also, if it's your first time here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops in CFL Tech. Freddy Tech will be checking out this one. Soon to be back with another. Take care.